tell him. Ladies and gentlemen around the world, it is a great pleasure to bring today in our new chapter of um, Tell Him, Mr. Wolf Jordan. Mr. Wolf Jordan is a legend in the hemp business. He has been working with everything that has to do with uh, ecological um, construction and he has a large and vast experience working with Hemcrete. We also have on board uh, Ana Maria. She is uh, our new architect in hemp engineering, and she will be co-hosting this uh, interview to Mr. Wolf. So Mr. Wolf, thank you. Thank you for being here with my first question to you. It's uh, just uh, more in a personal touch. And how did you end up being in the hemp business? Well, I am in natural business for more than 40 years in hemp. Uh, we still speak about 35 years, but it's 40 years. I, I have horses here, and in the stable as a bedding, I was using uh, hemp shifts and um, flax shifts, stuff like that. And then I read somewhere that you could, uh, people in France were building with hemp and lime. So I thought, oh gee, that's something I have to try. Uh, I must say, I, uh, in, in my many years of experience, I already uh, learned how to work with lime. Uh, I, I studied the things uh, way back um, in, in history, going more than 2000 years ago, uh, with the old Romans building with lime. So when I, it was the beginning of the internet, when I was looking at those French guys making their strange mixtures for the binders, then I thought they don't know the fuck about lime. Yeah, I was already uh, busy making lime paints and the best um, surface for a lime paint is a lime render. So I started to make lime renders because they were not available anymore on the market or very special things coming from Italy and, 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 and uh, way too expensive. Uh, so I started to develop, develop this and, and make them uh, for inside uh, plasters, inside renders for outside. Before I did the natural building, I already was busy in building sector. My father had a company in mm -hmm. building machinery. So I'm familiar with making special things out of cement concrete, uh, out of uh, synthetic concrete even. Um, about mixing systems, vibrating systems, etc., etc. So I had already the, tech, um, the, the, the knowledge in the house of the, the, the physical knowledge you have to know uh, when, when you want, would like to make mixtures. And then I build up this experience with lime, which is an extraordinary building material. Uh, with a breathability which is uh, in unequal uh, uh, clay and loam uh, comes very near, but the qualities of uh, lime are, are immense. <clears throat> I mean, what the old Romans built stands uh, for more than two thousand years. Yes. Uh, if we go, if if we go to the, the Spanish occupation in 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 in, in the Americas. Uh, what the Spanish uh, have built in, in Mexico and, and all those countries, even after earthquakes, the old buildings which were, that were built with lime, they still stand. Yes. And the modern buildings all collapsed, you know? So it, it has enormous building, uh, yeah. So I developed my own mixtures based on my knowledge. And then afterwards, and uh, and then I started to build with it here. Uh, that, that must have been 2003, 2004, something like that. Um, and then I went to France and 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 and, uh, and, and to Ireland, Steve Allen, and and to follow some workshops because I thought, well, maybe maybe I I'm missing something. Uh, I could learn a few things, but on the lime mixtures, no, sorry. I was the one who uh, uh, could correct those French uh, teachers and say, oh, sorry, guys, what you're telling about lime? No, this and this and this. I mean, yeah. Um, that's how I came into contact with uh, um, hemp shifts because I, you know, I, I, ne I never 
people don't want to believe me, but I, n I never smoked, you know, never. never. So uh, the intake with me was uh, through the horses, because I used this in the stables, because the hemp has an enormous capacity of taking up moisture, and uh, this is way much better than straw. And afterwards, the, the manure, uh, together with the uh, uh, with the hemp shifts, gives gives an excellent excellent uh, uh, compost. Yes, this was a possible answer for the first question. Then. Yes. So after learning about this powerful new, I wouldn't say new, but. Uh, we have rediscovered, I could say, a new construction material. Yeah. Um, this construction material has became you because um, everyone that I, that we ever come in contact, uh, um, people truly respect your knowledge and your working experience in, 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 with Hemcrete. Worldwide, uh, Mr. Wolf. Why? Right. Yeah, I, I, I think that the, the main reason is my knowledge, my uh, uh, a deep knowledge on life, and this is why I, I would uh, I'm, I'm starting up a school now, uh, an, an educational center in Brussels. Without the Corona crisis, it, it, we, we would have been active already in Dutch and in French, uh, and towards the end of this year, September, October, would have been also uh, available in English, a hydraulic line because they set a little bit fast. But uh, hydraulic biases, when they, when they um, are set, they leave a micropore structure, which is a little bit larger than the micropore structure you get when you have hydrated lime, which is the more simpler uh, kind, type of lime, which is worldwide available. It is the cheapest one and for building, it is the best of the best you can imagine. There is um, one disadvantage on the hydrated lime, and this is the slow time of setting. But thanks to my, my years of knowledge and working with lime, I managed to, to uh, 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 compose a, a, a small additive uh, of which you only need to, to to add a little uh, amount to the hydrated lime, and then with the hempcrete you can uh, work continuously. Uh, I mean, you can uh, have a sliding formwork. You fill it up, you tamp it, and then you can immediately move it up and, and just continue. You, know? you don't have to wait, and you can go up to. Up to uh, in, 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 one, in one go. And this, even with hydraulic lime, would not be possible. There are, there are many ways of, of building with lime and, and, and making um, hempcrete. Uh, but um, my additive tested, and uh, this is the best lambda measured on a hempcrete sample. And until now, I never found anyone could show me uh, better insulation values than with this kind. Well, I'm, I'm going to tell you something no, on regards of this uh, experience. When we talk uh, about a building in a large scale uh, projects, um, what sort of recommendations would you give to new contractors? And we're talking, you know, like 1,000 cubic meters per day or per week in, in, in you know, the, by building homes or whatsoever. Let, let's say that here in Bill, uh, an entrepreneur, a building team, four people with a, a good mixer, let's say a pan mixer of uh, between 250 and 300. And with a team of four people, uh, they do 10 to, 10 to 12 cubic meters of uh, hempcrete per day. Now, it depends of course, End of um, it depends, of course, how thick are your walls. 20 centimeters thick, then you do more than if, if you, uh, in square meters, than uh, in uh, walls of 30 centimeters, of course. But 10 to 12 cubic meters per day uh, in locally uh, prepared um, in, 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 in a formwork, 
But I presume that the uh, uh, mixing large quantities of hemcrete is not the same like like mixing large quantities of concrete. I was once in uh, uh, Puglia, South Italy, where uh, just after the uh, big uh, uh, building crisis, there was a complete, nearly brand new uh, concrete uh, um, uh, factory uh, f for filling um, trucks, you know, truck mixers. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And it was idle. There was no work, so that was an investment that stood there for nothing. So we checked it and, and we, uh, we, we studied this. If you want to, it is perfectly possible to change uh, a concrete uh, a factory like this uh, into hempcrete. Why not? And then per mixer, you have four, six to eight cubic meters of hempcrete per mix. I mean, this is already fit for an incredibly large. Uh, this is. Um, the, these are really uh, large projects, you know, a little bit like uh, like um, in, in Britain. They have had um, uh, a large project of 20, 20 houses or something, or more, even more than 20 houses mm -hmm. uh, in, in one, one, one compound. And oh shit. Yeah. Um, and they, uh, on, on, on the building site, they put a, a, a concrete mixer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And it worked, it worked perfectly. So you can uh, uh, work out large, large mixtures as well as a small one, so no problem. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this person, my brother. <laughs> Always the same uh, uh, people who call at, at um, practical uh, moments. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but of course, you 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 need to build up the experience. You can mix it in in, a, in an ordinary uh, concrete top, the the the, the round one. Eh? Yes. Um, but some people say oh, it's impossible. You get balls if you get balls you are not good in mixing, then you, you make mistakes. So it is very delicate. So then you have, in, in, in an ordinary drum mixer, you have to first uh, fill in the water, then your binder, eventually, in my case, if, if, if you would use it, the additive, and then gradually fill this with uh, the hemp shifts, not too many uh, at, the, at the same time. Uh, um, and then you will probably have, need to adjust the, the, your, your, your tub a little bit and then you will have no balls. The exact quantity of water, the exact quantity of lime and the exact quantity of uh, shifts must be perfectly possible. Only demands a little bit of attention and not let it turn too long but then certainly not with my additive because it, it, it goes really fast and you know. Uh, so in the a question now Wolf is like the density of the hemcrete itself does it change uh, when you are projecting with a pump or where or when you are just using the earth um, uh, the top earth method um, uh, does does he do we need to care about the density or what? Oh. Yeah, there, there is another point on 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 the project. What I learn about making mixtures, and this is just physics, is you have fillers for concrete, cement concrete. It is uh, um, sand, and and if you go to thicker things you have pebbles and, 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 and in a good granulometric composition yeah, with fines and, and bigger and bigger and bigger and those things need to be covered with binder. I uh, in, in the 70s I even uh, sold 
machinery for, I even don't dare to say this, uh, for uh, polyester concrete. Oh my God. <laughs> 100% <laughs> synthetic stuff, you know, <laughs> nine times the strength of cement concrete, etc., etc. But, but well, it is my, my views on, on, on I, I had to abandon this, but I learned a lot of this. There is the same the sand or marble powder or anything you, you mix, but in, in fact, in paint, it is the same thing but then it's micro thick in, instead of centimeters thickness. Uh, the principle stays the same. Your aggregates need to be covered with binder. This is why you need enough water. Otherwise, your binder will not glue to the fillers. And then you put this in a formwork or whatever, and you tamp this and then uh, this will become a good strong concrete. The projecting machines, this is a completely different story. Projecting machines, they, uh, what I saw, they do this separately. You have the uh, shifts, you have the water and you have the lime. And this is uh, just a short, uh, in a short instance, this should mix I don't believe it. It won't be. It won't be mixing properly, and then they project it against the wall. So, through the force of the projection, of course, you get you get a very strong uh, material. But even, believe me, even if you mix hemp shifts with only water, and you press it enough, this will become astonishingly astonishingly strong, you know, mm -hmm. don't underestimate it. But between the pores, the, 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 the infill between the aggregates will be air, will be empty if you project it. See? Uh, there are even uh, guys who say, well, yes, but we have a minimum of water uh, in our projection and this is why it dries much faster when you have a minimum of water you can impossibly cover the uh, the, the hemp shifts in a proper way with a binder mm. so you can have a good material yeah but it will not have in my humble opinion opinion it will not have the same properties as the hempcrete which has been really well mixed so if you would project and you would project a ready mixed Mixture, that's another question. But this will be technically more difficult to do. But uh, companies in Germany like Putzmeister, they have pumps for the what we call shap, uh, for the floor uh, mixtures. They, um, they are very sturdy, very difficult to, to, to pump. So not the ordinary concrete uh, pump, because in the, in the uh, cement concrete, uh, there's much more water involved than, than in hempcrete. Eh? But they have machinery with, with which you could pump ready mixed um, uh, hempcrete. We've done it here. We've done it. Uh, so so it, it, it's possible. Yeah. But this with that much force that this is not appropriate to pump it directly into a, a formwork, but you could change this and make this applicable maybe in a, a prefab element uh, uh, situation, yeah. Um, Wolf, now that you're talking, uh, touching a sensible point about the properties of hemp itself, can you explain the audience uh, what you know about it? Please. Well, lime and especially hydrated lime has an incredible and an excellent uh, damp regulation capacity. This means that um, rooms built and treated with lime, lime plasters, lime products will have a constant uh, moisture degree. 
Now the hemp shifts together with the lime, uh, the, the hemp shifts will give uh, a very good, in, well, uh, quite a good uh, insulation uh, value. I mean, uh, what I told you about um, uh, Bath uh, University uh, doing the research, we, we had a quite, a, quite a good uh, lambda, uh, but it is a dynamic lambda because uh, hempcrete has not only a good insulation, or re relatively good uh, insulation um, view, but also a good uh, thermal capacity, which means it can keep warmth during a very and extremely long time. Plus, and this is one of the, the, the very strange uh, figures, um, if we use the classical um, formulas like lambda uh, with the uh, uh, u-value and stuff like that for insulation, uh, a hempcrete building will need normally maximum one fourth of one quarter of the normally calculated heat heating system. It has a, a dynamic lambda because if you use, how, how should I do this in short? I'm writing a book on it, you know. Uh, the Keep hempcrete, time, my brother, no rush. <laughs> the hempcrete, the lime in the hempcrete now will suck up moisture from the inside and then, <coughs> sorry, it will press this into the hemp shifts because hemp is a plant material and the plant when it grows the the the, the stem th those are very small channels mm -hmm. and hemp grows extremely fast so you can imagine if a plant on in in, in about uh, 90 days which is something like three months grows from mm -hmm. zero up to three meters three meters and a half even sometimes even four meters high you can imagine that the internal structure of allowing to pump up water with, with, with ingredients, to pump it up uh, that high at, at that speed, this is super performant. It's the second growth, uh, fast growing plant in the world, ne next to bamboo, you know? Yes, yes. Mm. Yeah. So the, 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 the moisture treating capacities inside the hemp shifts are incredible incomparable with other products. Otherwise we could make, I don't know, bamboo concrete or uh, bamboo crete or or, 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 or or whatever, you know, yeah. Uh, but, but yeah. So what happens when the damp sucked up by the fine micropore structure of the hydrated lime, when it is pushed into the hemp shifts, there is a phase change. And this goes on because the, the, the hemp inside the channeling has uh, channels um, specialized in, 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 in four degrees, five, six degrees, 12 degrees. Yeah. And, and let's not forget what plants do at night. It is something we, we very recently are, are discovering now and, and, and research is done on it, on, on trees mainly, but all plants do this. At night, this reverses. Then the plant takes CO2 from the air, pumps it down to the earth, gives it to Mother Earth uh, uh, through the root system where this CO2 is uh, used and needed uh, by the microorganisms, the mycelium and, and, and that life under the ground, which need this CO2 so they can, on their turn, prepare, prepare the food that the plant needs during the daytime. So this is a perfect symbiosis. This is a wonderful thing. So there is a certain intelligence in the pumping inside this uh, plant material hemp. A biological intelligence. It, 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 it's just plain logic, you know. This, this, this is a, a belly feeling of understanding. You, 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 it, it's not a rocket science. Uh, you, you, can, you can, yeah. So this uh, phase change also generates 
a little bit of heat, you know. Now, I I spoke about the moisture uh, treating uh, regulating capacity, especially in regions where we need to heat our houses. In winter time, when we heat, the air inside is warm, hot. We cook, bath, uh, breathe, etc., etc., wash, etc., etc. So there is a lot of uh, moisture, a lot of damp inside uh, hot air. Yeah, the molecules are very uh, open, so there's a lot of room in it. So you have a high damp pressure inside. Now, the colder it becomes outside, the more the, uh, the air shrinks, the drier the air becomes. So cold air, uh, when, when it's, especially when it freezes, uh, by the way, in uh, Bruni Island, they got snow. Oh, really? Yeah, really, yeah. It's exceptional, yeah. Well, uh, so if, if you have a minus temperature outside, the, the air is very dry, inside very uh, humid, so the um, damp pressure, the damp will press into the walls to, to equalize. In, in normal insulating uh, uh, things, then, then the damp, when it uh, goes further and further to the outside, it will be, come to a dew point, a condensation point, and will be, turn into water. If you have this inside your wall, you're really fucked up because then you get water, get water cooling inside your walls, and when you get frost, the frost will destroy your walls and it will take not more than maximum 10, 12 years, and your building is completely destroyed. This is why they put now a damp screen from the inside, but then you still have your high moisture content from inside your house, so they force you to buy a forced air um, yes, yes. system, yeah, which, which, which is a stupid thing to do. Well, inside the hempcrete, this is really incredible, there is never, never everyone has measured a condensation point or a dew point inside hempcrete. Yeah. This is because this, this damp uh, has his ways of being sucked up by the uh, uh, lime uh, and or pressed into the hempcrete. So the, and this is, um, generates some heat. Now, if you want to calculate the heating installation in a house, then th th this is based on the average of two temperatures, T1 plus T2 divided by two. Temperature one, the average temperature of the air, and T2 is the average temperatures of the walls. Now, if you have a heat generation in your walls and your walls are, let's say, two degrees warmer than normal walls, then you can heat your air two degrees less to have the same feeling of comfort. So this creates, this gives an enormous um, um, oh, uh, yeah, English is not my mother tongue. Uh, no problem. <laughs> you, save, you save a lot on uh, uh, on, on heating, of course. This, this, yeah, and this is why uh, this phase change is probably the main reason why at Bath University they have uh, put that much emphasis on the dynamic lambda. This means the colder it becomes, the better the insulation value, because the pumping uh, of, of, of the moisture is, is more active. But when, when, the, uh, when it, this reverses and you get into summertime and you get hot temperatures, then this reverses. And then the, the, the damp will go out again. And this, this is cooling. So you need no air co. The temperature inside a, a good hemp building is always the same, constantly between 17 and, and 18 degrees, something like that. Yeah. Regardless of the temperature outside, yes. Even if it is outside minus 20 or plus, plus 30, never mind, always the same temperature. Isn't that fantastic? Yes, it is. Yeah. Um, uh, Mr. Wolf, um, 
what would be your recommendation for the width of the walls in, in residential purposes? Um, I, did, I did one experiment here. Uh, a little uh, extension of my bathroom. Uh, I made it from hempcrete and I did it only 10 centimeters thick. Normally, you would say that's ridiculous. Well, I made it 10 centimeters thick. I mean, you can talk about things, but if you do something, uh, I learned I learned the most things, uh, not only in Hempcrete, but in my own, own life by making stupid mistakes, of course. Yeah? And if, if, if somebody says, oh, it's not possible, then, then I, I want to know why, when it is not too, too obvious, of course, and then I try this and then, and then that's the way you learn how things function. Well, that's how I do it. And, and if I'm not really sure, then I make the mistakes a few times over again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, until, yeah, well, but that's more on the private <laughs> kind of, of, of thing. But 10 centimeters, uh, there is water behind, a uh, water uh, uh, pump is there because I have my own well here. I don't use the, 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 the grid water, I have my, my well water. Mm -hmm. Uh, I never had frost problems, and, and w when I take a shower midwinter, or mid I mean, you're, normally you're pretty naked in in in, in your in your bathroom, so uh, I, I I would have experienced uh, should have experienced cold. But no, it's always cozy and warm in the bathroom without uh, extra heating. You know? What about the rendering of the walls in the in the in the? the but for outside walls, we, we usually go, let's say, 25, 30, 31, 33 centimeters. All right. And inside, do you, did you put tiles in, in the bathroom or? No, no. Um, There's a uh, paint or something? No, no, lime-based um, plaster. Yeah, this is, of course, now, if you have a hempcrete, which is perfect in his breathability, moisture regulating, etc., 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 and you would finish this the wrong way, then you potentially will destroy your whole uh, uh, advantage of the hempcrete. So I developed, but I did this already before I was working with hempcrete, I developed um, uh, plasters for inside. Uh, one centimeter thick in one layer, and for outside, uh, a brush on type, only a few millimeters thick, finished with lime paint. This gives an excellent uh, breathability, uh, extremely fast transport of damp to the outside, which is which is crucial, of course. Uh, and um, this is how I finished uh, the the bathroom. And, and, and the shower itself, I, I did with a Tadelact, which is a high gloss uh, lime based plaster, but I make it myself here. Yeah. We, we have the, the finest lime uh, in, in Europe, the purest one is made in Belgium. Yes. By, by, by the way, two of the most um, world leaders in, in, on, on the level of lime, two Belgian companies. The biggest in the world is Loise, but I work with Caramese. It's, it's the second biggest, and they control uh, lime production on all continents now. Yeah, because of the, the the deep knowledge in in lime and lime treatment and and fabrication and production of lime. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting. Very interesting. Um, can, when we talk know. about hempcrete, um, we of course we you have mentioned many several times about uh, the chief or the herd, uh, how, how it's called in, in Australia. Um, does it have to have a special size after being decorticated? Um, uh, so that we can uh, uh, assure the performance of what we, of the hemp cells cells on walls? Well, this is also basic, uh, basic physics. This means uh, your shifts should not be too big and they should not be too small. But 
shifts two, three, four centimeters is too big. I've seen many places where they used uh, quite big rough shifts, especially when the smaller particles are filtered out, then the granulometric, the sieve line, uh, you know this, when, when the, 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 the components uh, in, 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 if you put it on an X and Y thing, uh, it should be something like this, mm. the sieve, sieve curve, or oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I showed this in, in my presentations. I, I have not. I remember, that. remember, but I don't have it in the in the top of my head in this moment. This, this, <laughs> this means that the 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 space between the larger M shifts should be filled up with smaller and those with smaller and those with smaller and with smaller and with smaller. Like when we're filling concrete with the with the uh, with the exactly. aggregate. You could, you could never build a bridge with only pebbles, but not with only sand either, you know? Mm -hmm. you, need, you need the correct equivalent from zero to zero four uh, up, 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 up to the big, uh, yeah, size, yeah. And in my opinion, if, if the shifts are three, four centimeters long, this, this is a bit too much, uh, yeah, three, yeah. I recently had someone uh, three centimeters. It, it, it's something like this. This is too long. Mm. Uh, they should be broken into uh, one, one and a half. This, this is the mixture I prefer working with. Uh, Hemflax in uh, Holland makes them, and uh, Dunagro in Holland. They, they are a little bit bigger, but but it's also okay. Mm. Um, and they also have a little, uh, the, the, the hemp shifts that I use, uh, or I love to use, is with, with very small, uh, but not too many um, uh, fibers even in it. Uh -huh. Yeah, because the fibers form a network and make, makes it super strong and elastic, you know? but not too much. Because if it is too much, then during the mixture, this of course will, will, will clip together and, 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 and th th this will not give a good and proper mix. So you're so talking if, what percentage are you talking? 5%, 2%, 10% of the mix? Fiber I'm heard? Well, it, it depends upon the, the, the yeah, you, you put it on an XY uh, thing and then it should be, the, the smaller ones would be, yeah. Yeah, and the grand, the grand yeah, yeah. I, don't, yeah. I don't remember now how to say that in English as well, but it's gotta, it's gotta have something to do with the granulometry. Yes, exactly, the granulometric composition, yeah. Yes, yes, exactly. yes, yes. Yeah. Well, uh, Wolf, you have um, walked through to a lot of good properties. I do understand as well that the that hand creep itself uh, he, uh, one of the properties is anti, uh, the, uh, it's got um, anti-fire uh, properties, it's, uh, it's fire resistance, my apologies, and also yeah. with a termite, it's uh, termites don't like uh, hemcrete. Can you tell us something about that? Well, insects and um, also rodents uh, seem not to like it, yeah, exactly. I, I have seen hempcrete, which was made with earth and uh, hemp, and there there were ants in it, ants like this, big ants. They loved it, but this was made with the 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 the, the loam with the clay earth, locally found where they were living anyway. So they were familiar with that. But when you mix it with uh, lime, then no, never. Apparently not, no. I have here outside in, in my compound here, uh, they're lying a, a few hemp things untreated uh, ju just to see how they, how it happens, how they degrade, etc., etc. But never found any insects in it. Also, uh, as I said, rodents don't seem to like it. So they're kept out. Uh, the lime has a high pH, so especially in the beginning, 
uh, this is uh, antibacterial, et cetera, et cetera. I ha even have a client uh, in, a, in a hemp house when he has to make a, a phone call with his uh, mobile, he has to go on the terrace outside because he has no reception. Wow, wow. So if, if you do it the correct way and sick enough, then it seems even that it could protect you for uh, radiation. Anyway, the uh, electromagnetic fields that you have from your normal uh, electro uh, installation in the house will be neutralized too, which is also uh, for certain people uh, seen as a very positive uh, health uh, advantage. Is there literature that we can find out um, about the numbers itself to support all those um, uh, claims on that regard? Or is it uh, has been measured at, it, at those properties? Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know a few uh, uh, guys specialized in uh, uh, bio building, uh, ecological building, and they have those measuring things to, to measure the, uh, the uh, eons, uh, the ionization in, 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 in the, the house. In, in the house, yeah, uh, to measure um, uh, electromagnetic fields, stuff like that, yeah. And this is this is with measuring things. It's it's not with 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 with, with a pendulum. No, no, it, it it's it's uh, something with a scale from one to whatever. Professionally uh, speaking, yeah, yes, wow, yes, yes. Something we like as as as, as mathematics. Uh, I'm. I'm busy with, with very spiritual things and stuff like that, but I also study uh, mathematics, you know? Yes, yes. So, so I, I, I love to... Try to put them together or join them yeah, or yeah, infuse yeah. them, yes. Uh, the, the brain and, uh, and, and, and the belly feeling are in harmony. Yes. And when this is correct and, and, uh, and they are not contradiction, then, then we have a good solution, isn't it? Yeah. You, I always remember something that you told me when we were in Nepal. Uh -huh. uh, we were talking about how much we know about hemcrete. And I always remember that you told me, Ramon, we just know only just a little bit of what we think what we could do. Yeah. We, still, we still need a lot of research. Yeah, yeah. Like, like a proper formula to calculate the real uh, need of uh, heating. Uh, uh, for instance, the, uh, one of the last big uh, Marks and Spencer things in, in, in Britain, they have bu been built with hempcrete. Uh, and the engineers who, who did this, uh, they were experienced with hempcrete. But for a volume like that, they were not sure about the heating installation. So they thought, well, according to the lambda, it will be this this capacity. Uh, so we 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 will do this half, half the capacity. It it is it is way too high. It it could have been half of the half, you know. Mm. For the in in Britain, uh, with 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 quite a, a humid. Uh, Weather, central bit of some and worry, yes, and cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But we need, we need good, good, decent research, yeah, mm -hmm. because because the hemp has a a, a a potential future which is unbelievable. It can grow nearly anywhere in the world, and it will give us grains with uh, seeds with oil with it, it, something like 800 kilos per hectare or something yeah? uh, you, you can press oil from it and then you have uh, uh, for, for food you can make medicine of it you can oh, make yeah. clothes uh, this this is one this is is, 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 is a hemp thing uh, very strong and so is my teacher <laughs> <laughs> mine too <laughs> from Colorado, from, yeah, from, from a tiny empires. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, but the uh, wolf, I remember uh, that after your conversation, after we talked in Nepal, and after, uh, after your presentation in Uruguay, 
uh, last November. And uh, when people listen to you, it seems that the, that the whole knowledge is at your hands. And there is so much still that we need to learn from you. And yet, there is so much to discover at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a privilege having you here with us, uh, Mr. Wolf. To have things we still can discover is a challenge, you know. I, I find it's a challenge that a plant uh, like the, the, the cannabis, uh, the industrial uh, cannabis, uh, cannabis uh, um, well, have, when with, with the other cannabis, uh, the marijuana, uh, when the, the, the worst thing that can happen to you is being caught with the plant, then there's something wrong with the, with the fucking system, you know? Yes. When, when, when you see what the capacities and, and the possibilities are, especially of the industrial hemp, this can open uh, a, a whole new type of economy going local and let's not forget because it is plant material if you put this afterwards in a building then all the plant material is is carbon material then you will have captured you will have captured co2 uh even if you make the total calculation of, of a complete building uh, per building you will have captured quite a large number of CO2. So you work carbon negative. This means in situations where governments would ask a carbon uh, tax to pay, if, if, if you use the, the ordinary building materials, you would have a right to have a carbon subsidiary. It is like a new concept of a circular economy that could go around you, hemp itself huh? you can do it on a large scale but you can also even do it on a small scale in in in, in some countries you, you could do this even manually i put on my uh, facebook uh, page from jordan and company uh, some time ago a very interesting documentary on sagura uh, a little place in spain it is in spanish so uh, you're gonna chase it it's in your facebook i'm gonna look for it yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they show how they uh, did it traditionally, uh, harvesting it, um, processing this, uh, and it, in, in Sagura they make the espad espadrilles, those those special shoes uh, made of hemp, you know, mm -hmm. the, the traditional product. So you can do it very basically without machinery. You can do it middle scale, uh, like, like um, uh, Chris Tapps has a, uh, de developed a small machine uh, for, for, the, for the small farmers. Uh, Henry Wicker in Germany makes very small uh, harvesting machines. Yeah, in yeah, the, I remember, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. In the US you have uh, a, a, little, a, a little bit bigger uh, things um, I, I recently uh, saw on, 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 on Facebook. And then, of course, you have the big installations, which, which cost four, five uh, million euros for a complete uh, 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 installation. Yes. But you can do it for under uh, under fifty thousand or under a hundred thousand euros too, uh, on on a small scale. So it has a potential. You know? Yes. And also for the farmers uh, who are now in such big uh, financial uh, problems. You can grow your hemp without any uh, fertilizers. Uh, very simple. Uh, even even if if you, I read somewhere that uh, the wheat planted after the har uh, after the um, uh, hemp harvest uh, gave thirty percent more wheat. That is incredible, isn't it? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there is a potential in hemp. Yeah, yeah. Which, which, which even surpasses my knowledge and my interesting, uh, of my, or my, my, uh, the fields where I am active. You know. Um, Mr. Wolf, um, uh, my apologies for coming back again to one of the properties that we missed earlier, uh, which is about the fire resistance on the on, 
um, hempcrete. Hempcrete, I understand, it's got um, a fire resist high high grade of of um, fire high. resistance. Yeah, hemp on itself it can burn, but it will never burn. It will glow when it is mixed with hemp. Uh, when you heat the the lime to um, 800, 900, it starts with around 700 degrees, it starts to, to degrade, but it, it takes a lot of time, you know, uh, and then we talk not about minutes, but about hours and hours and hours before. And so this this uh, is, is better than, than whatever uh, is demanded by uh, fire securities, fire brigades, laws, prescriptions, etc. Yeah. So I no think, if, if I may, this would be a perfect solution for uh, for the Australian home construction of business. Of course, and there is even something else for Australia, because if you would massively grow hemp, hemp brings shadow, of course. When you have shadow on the earth, this means that the earth will become cooler. When the earth is cooler and the rain falls, then the rain can mix with the uh, with the earth. Yes. It will be taken into the earth and can go even to the aquifer. By uh, cooling down the earth, uh, you 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 create or recreate the situation you would have uh, when there would still be enough. Uh, trees and we have a lack of trees but planting trees now <clears throat> which we should do worldwide instead of cutting trees um, then we have to wait 10 to 20 25 years because before we have a real effect on, on, uh, uh, on, on, on uh, reversing climate change and, and uh, re regenerating uh, uh, rain and etc etc. Et yeah, certainly hemp is the proper solution that the whole world needs to yeah. evolve accordingly. I believe so. Yes. On many on many levels. Incredible. Yes. yes. Um, Mr. Wolf, uh, uh, also tell us about the products that you also manufacture. Uh, I do understand that you also do paints and tiles and. All those kind of products made out of hemp? Uh, well, I have uh, oils and waxes, and, and there are products where I have hemp, hemp oil in it. Uh, a wood oil for um, treating furniture, floors, stuff like that. Uh, I make of linseed oil uh, and uh, tongue oil and uh, hemp oil. and. Uh, we are more uh, French orientated here. Uh, hemp in France is uh, chanvre. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 flax is lin. So I call it cham and lin, eh? channeling, channeling. Uh. Oh, okay. Now I get the names. <laughs> uh, so I have uh, an, uh, oils, waxes, but also um, the plasters for inside for treating the. Uh, the uh, walls, not only uh, hemp walls, of course, but uh, uh, especially hemp walls, and also an outside uh, type of render, which you can just brush on. You don't even need to be a, a specialized um, a plasterer to, to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, even your, 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 your children can, uh, can, can join uh, doing this. Uh, Mr. Wolf, uh, uh, the audience would be very pleased listening to you. Um, uh, um, um, energetic gentleman that has given all his life for this to happen. Um, what is your legacy beyond, beyond all this work? What is what? Please. You are a worldwide uh, 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 a speaker, you talk about this about this um, um, yeah. technology with such a, a high level of passion. 
uh, uh, I've seen you traveling all around the world. Where, what is your legacy? Yes. <laughs> I am at the age where I wish to share my knowledge. Yeah? And one of my dreams is um, that I could help to start up local businesses in Australia, in US, in, uh, in the South Americas, in uh, uh, many countries in Europe, uh, wherever, whether in Asia, wherever, uh, to, to um, what, what what I did in Nepal with with uh, uh, Diraj and uh, Nivedita, yes. I went over to, uh, after the conference. I went over to help them, and and I I could I could uh, uh, locally uh, in, in invent uh, a mixture with with a hemp um, waste he had a large heap of of hemp way hemp waste which was not good if, even barely enough to make paper. Well, we. I found products and mixtures all, all local, uh, up to jaggery and stuff like that, and 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 rice husks uh, we, we we put in it, uh, uh, and and we made walls with it, you know. So um, I would love to share my knowledge in 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 setting up businesses uh, based on uh, local productions of. Uh, uh, in, in my case, then of uh, 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 mainly building and, and finishing materials. And because not everybody is, uh, uh, has the possibility of building a new house with hemp, let's not forget that hempcrete and hemp can also be uh, applied in already existent uh, houses where you can put it on the inside walls, on the outside walls, on both if you want to. But you can also put a, a, a small, thin render if, if, if nothing else is possible, you know? We have to, sometimes we have to be very pragmatic. And if, if this is the only possibility, better this than absolutely nothing, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. And, and, uh, and, 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 and I also have a range of pains for those people who live in uh, houses where the application of lime product is, is technically impossible. And those are linseed oil based product. So uh, this this could be could be a, a, a job for uh, for small teams uh, worldwide. You know, if if you could develop this, yeah. Well, you are giving a good idea to Ana Maria now that she has joined our team. Yes, Thank you. Uh, yes, uh, the, the Mr. Wolf idea. So of his presence, his uh, knowledge of the world. Well, Mr. Wolf, is in in part, this is why uh, the invitation and to you to tell him, so you can sp spread your, you know, every as much as you can share with him, with the audience. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I already worked with several people. Uh, we we already uh, made. Uh, consider plans of, of how we possibly could cooperate. Uh, uh, Mr. Wolf, just imagine that we come from... This, day, this day is the first day of the rest of our lives, so we can only start today, you know? Yeah, exactly. exactly. But, uh, yeah. my, my, my comment is that uh, we are working in an industry that has been, uh, uh, has been stigmatized uh, with the prohibition so this prohibition has uh, basically in, uh, it's a worldwide dictatorship that only only creates uh, a wall uh, to progress or to use this plan to progress accordingly in in the world. So um, whatever is happening with the coronavirus, whether it's true or not, or or any other reason, whichever I, I could understand, uh, when when we compare it with the prohibition scheme, uh, nothing surprised me, to tell you the truth. I take, I take CBD oil daily, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I, the, we cannot take yeah. CBD oil in, in Australia because it is illegal. Uh, is it legally in Australia? It's not legal. Uh, not legal. Uh. Not legal. Yeah, then, then you just call it plant oil, no? Whatever. <laughs> 
I wish you were that simple. <laughs> Mr. Wolf, uh, I don't know if you could like to add any anything else to the to to this uh, beautiful talk that we have ahead. Unfortunately, we haven't. We there has been a lot of background and noises. I don't know how I, I will edit this, but um, I know that the hard core of what you of the intention of sharing your knowledge has been completely uh, uh, accomplished successfully. Uh, Alessandra Maria, do you have any question for me, for Mr. Wolf? I'm processing. <laughs> I think I have a lot of to think. All right. <laughs> thank you for thank you for the master class. Fantastic. Thank you. Yes. Mr. Wolf, do you, would you like to add something else? And people are happy people. Yeah? Sure. Yes. <laughs> yes. So once again, uh, the, it has been a great pleasure having you uh, listening um, all this knowledge. Um, 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 uh, I wish I can soon uh, uh, be able to translate this into Spanish and share this with a much larger, uh, larger audience. Uh, there is one thing maybe I would like to add. This is, I hope that uh, the people working on with him and especially in the building, right, that we can all be connected, even if on mixtures or something we should have other opinions, nevertheless, we should build up a very strong network to help each other, to support each other, and, and to work together and not against, against each other. Yeah. A lot of work to do uh, uh, and, and a lot of things to clear out. It's a new industry. Everybody wants to come on board with their own ideas. Everybody is still the old school of um, greedy and that everybody is a complex situation. So um, uh, hopefully yes. things are evolving uh, positively for a lot of people and those who are, has been touched by the current situation uh, uh, negatively. I hope that uh, everything goes well at the end of the day. Yes, I have met people who want to steal formulas, etc., etc. Uh, I have uh, even been asked by the court here uh, in Belgium to support them uh, in advices on, on mistakes uh, that have been done with, uh, with Henry. Uh, yeah, this limits me that I'm not allowed to, to speak about those problems. Certainly not as long as the, the, the court is still in investigation. Uh, uh, this needs to be secret. But um, I know a lot about how not to do it too. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> But that is important to share as well, what not to do. Well, this is what we have been talking in the last hour. Hey, once thank again, you. namaste, my brother. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes. Let's rock and roll. Thank you. Bye -bye.